sixth grade, module three, lesson 18, classwork. Opening exercise. Four friends are touring on motorcycles. They come to an intersection of two roads. The road they are on continues straight and the other is perpendicular to it. The sign at the intersection shows the distances to several towns. Draw a map diagram of the roads and use it and the information on the sign to answer the following questions. Okay, so we need to kind of draw this out. So it says, they come to an intersection of two roads. The road they're on continues straight. So one road continues straight. Let's say that's the road they're on. The other is perpendicular to it. So I'm just gonna draw a perpendicular line to that. The sign at the intersection shows the distances to several towns. So let's say that their, their car's right here. They're at that intersection right there. And it says Albertsville is eight miles to the left. So I'm just gonna count eight units to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'll say this is Albertsville. I'll just abbreviate it. Blossville is three miles north. So I'm gonna go up three. I'll call that Blossville. Cheyenne is 12 miles north. So I'm going to start here at the origin and count up 12. So we're already at 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I kind of had to go into the words, but that is Cheyenne. And Dewey Falls is 6 miles to the right. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Call that Dewey Falls. Okay, so there's our map that we've drawn. We want to know, first question says, what is the distance between Albertsville and Dewey Falls? We want to know the distance from here to here. So the distance from Albertsville to the origin is was eight miles and the distance from the origin to Dewey Falls was six miles so eight miles plus six miles is equal to 14 miles what's the distance between Blossville and Cheyenne so Blossville is right here Cheyenne is up here so Blossville was at three miles and Cheyenne's at 12 miles. So the distance to get from here to here, we would need to do 12 minus three, we would get nine miles. So 12 miles minus three miles was equal to nine miles. So notice how on the last one, we added the two distances, that's because they were on opposite sides of the origin or on opposite sides of zero. When we were talking about the Blossville and Cheyenne, we subtracted them because they were on the same side of zero. They were both up or north of the origin. So we subtracted them because we needed to get rid of this part right there. Whereas when we were doing this, we were just adding the whole thing together on opposite sides of zero. So that'll come into play in future questions. On the coordinate plane, what represents the intersection of the two roads? So what is the intersection of two roads, that point right there? Well, that would be represented as the origin, or we could call it zero, zero. So the intersection is the origin. Example one, the distance between points on an axis. Consider the points negative four, zero, and five, zero. What do the ordered pairs have in common and what does that mean about their location in the coordinate plane? So what do they have in common? I notice that they both have a Y coordinate of zero. So when they both have a Y coordinate of zero, I'll draw, we can draw it a little bit. Let's see, what was it, negative four, zero? So negative four, zero, 
one, two, three, four, and then we don't go up at all. And then five, zero, one, two, three, four, five, five, zero would be right there. So they're both on the X axis because they both have the same Y coordinate. So we can say, so they both lie on the X axis. And if you're not sure, you can always draw it just like I did. How did we find the distance between two numbers on the number line? So this is referring back to up here, our example, how did we find the distances? So what we did was we found the absolute values of each number. which told us their distance from zero if they were located on opposite sides of zero so for example Albertsville and Dewey Falls if they were located on opposite sides we added them together if they were located on the same side like Cheyenne and Blossville we subtracted them opposite sides of zero we added if they were on the same side we subtracted okay Use the same method to find the difference between negative four zero and five zero. So we're gonna find the absolute value of the x coordinates because those are what differ. So the absolute value of negative four is four. And the absolute value of five is five. And negative four zero and five zero are, as you can see here, on opposite sides of zero right there. So that means that we're going to add them to find the distance between them. So four, plus 5 is equal to 9. So they are 9 units apart. Example 2. Consider the line segment with endpoints 0, negative 6 and 0, negative 11. What do the ordered pairs in the points have in common and what does that mean about the line segment's location in the coordinate plane? Okay, well what jumps out at me is that they both have the same x-coordinate. So that means that they are going to be in a vertical line on the y-axis. And if you have a hard time visualizing this, which honestly I kind of do, I'm a very visual person, I prefer to just draw it and see it, go ahead and draw it. So we have zero, negative six, so that's gonna be down here. There's zero, negative six, and zero, negative 11. So six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So there's zero, negative 11, zero, negative six. So you can see that they're both on the y-axis in a vertical line. Find the length of the segment described by the finding the distance between its endpoints. So we're going to find their absolute values. So the absolute value of negative 6 is 6. The absolute value of negative 11 is 11. And since they're on the same side of 0, we just want to know this part. So we're going to subtract. 11 minus 6 is equal to 5. So they are 5 units apart on the y-axis. Example 3. Consider the line segment with endpoints negative 3, 3 and negative 3, 5. Negative 3, negative 5. What do the endpoints, which are represented by the ordered pairs, have in common? What does that tell us about the location of the line segment on the coordinate plane? I'm going to draw it really fast. 
negative 3, 3 would be right there. And negative 3, negative 5 is going to be down here. You don't need to draw it. I just think it makes it easier to see. So we see that it's going to be have a it's going to be vertical through the x-axis. So let's say they have the same exit, they have the same x-coordinate. So the points are on a vertical line at the, what they have in common, negative 3. Find the length of the line segment by finding the distance between its endpoints. So let's find the absolute value of 3 is equal to 3, the absolute value of negative 5 is equal to 5, and since they're on opposite sides of 0, here's 0, we're going to be adding them together. So they are 8 units apart. Find the lengths of the line segments whose endpoints are given below. Explain how you determine that the line segments are horizontal or vertical. Okay, so these have the same uh, x coordinate. So that means, so let's say both have x coordinate of negative 3. So they just like our last example, will be on a vertical line through negative 3. So then we can find their absolute values of 4 is 4, the absolute value of 9 is 9, and 4 and 9 are both positive, so on, they're on the same side of 0, so we're going to subtract them. 9 minus 4 is equal to 5. So they are 5 units. The length is 5 units. And if that doesn't make sense, just draw it. It's a lot, I think it's a lot easier to just draw it and find the distance, but I think this is the strategy that they want us to take. So let's find similarities between 2, negative 2, and 8, negative 2. So they both have they both have a y coordinate of negative 2. So that means they, which means, I spelled that wrong. Means they'll have, be on a horizontal line. through negative 2. We can find their actual distance by finding the absolute value of 2 is 2. I'm taking the x-coordinates now. And the absolute value of negative 8 is equal to 8. So since they're on opposite sides of 0, because negative 2 would be to the left of 0, or 2 would be to the right of 0, and negative 8 will be to the left of 0, we're going to add them. So 2 plus 8 is equal to 10 units. So the distance is 10 units. 6, negative 6, and negative 6, 1. They both have negative 6 as their x-coordinate. Which means there will be a vertical line through negative 6. And if we want to know the distance, let's take the absolute value of negative 6 and 1. So the value of 1 is 1. They'll be on opposite sides of 0, because negative 6 would be to the left of 0, 1 would be to the right of 0, which means we will add them. So they are 7 units apart. Negative 9, 4, and negative 4, 4. 
They both have a Y coordinate. Is four. So there will be a horizontal line through four. And let's find the absolute value of negative nine is nine. Absolute value of negative four is four. We just need to decide if we're going to add or subtract them. They're both to the left of zero, so we're going to subtract because they're on the same side. So that would be five units. And then the last one, zero, negative 11, and zero, eight. They both have a x coordinate equals zero. So there will be a vertical line. through zero and we can find the distance by finding the absolute value of negative 11 is 11 absolute value of 8 is 8 they're on opposite sides of zero which means we add 11 plus 8 is equal to 19 units so the distance is 19 units and that's all for lesson 18 classwork